Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Welcome to Postscript. I'm Luann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Young Adults Pastor Adam McIntyre, who just brought our message on Senior Sunday. And you talked about the idolatry of excellence. Yes. Welcome, Adam. What a great message. Not real, not just for seniors, although uh, as you move into your life, what a great message to kind of start the next chapter, but for all of us to examine. It's all in our nature, I believe, to want to chase these things, these worldly things, and to be successful. And um, I think you did a really good job of calling us back to what is true um, and what we see in the scripture from Jesus and what he really wants from us. Thank you. Um, I do have a couple questions. Sure. The first one is uh, you were talking about that to uh, want to be excellent or to do your best, whether it's in your marriage or your job, um, or in your family is not in itself bad. Right. We should want to do things right and to give our best and our best effort. But there's a fine line that we can cross over where that becomes uh, an idol in our yeah. life. Uh, tell me some warning signs or things that I can look for in my life to see whether or not I'm crossing over that line. Sure. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a story. Um, okay. uh, and this is a a story that's happened multiple times. Uh, whenever I was in youth ministry, um, when I was a junior high and, and then the high school pastor, there'd be multiple times where I would talk to students who would just be, uh, you could tell they were um, kind of freaking out a little bit uh, mm -hmm. and that they were in panic mode and I would go and talk to them and, and try to figure out what was going on. And almost always it was about some kind of test that they had mm -hmm. to take uh, or some kind of project that they just had mm -hmm. to get a certain grade on. Um, especially when you get in high school and you're getting closer and closer to college and you're trying to get in whatever college that you want to go to. And, uh, and a few different times I would hear a student say, if I don't get a A oh. on this mm -hmm. test, then my life's over. And I would stop and think, your life's over? What is, like, I don't think that you mean that. But they would literally, they, their entire identity, their reason for existing would wrapped up in their grade and they would felt like if they didn't get this certain grade, if they didn't achieve this certain level of excellence, then their life was over. What's the point? Mm -hmm. um, and then on a certain level, I think adults um, do that as well. Uh, you know, if, if I don't um, get this promotion mm -hmm. or if I don't make this amount of money or if I don't... Um, you know, achieve whatever level of success that we have in our head, uh, we start to feel like a failure as a person mm -hmm. and we feel um, like we're just no good mm -hmm. and that, and like, who would like a failure like me? And, uh, and, and that's how you know whenever you start your entire identity, like, mm -hmm. you find your... it starts to begin to affect, affect you. Right, like, yeah. Stress. Exactly. Or anxiety. And, yeah, exactly. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, when you find that um, you start just becoming really anxious about whatever it is, uh, you know, your next performance review at work or, mm -hmm. um, or uh, you know, your paycheck, your money you're bringing in, whatever it is, um, to the point where it's kind of sending you spiraling and, and you start trying to numb that anxiety um, uh, in whatever way that you choose. Mm -hmm. um, that's when you know it's, it's starting to become an idol. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when in reality, we need to constantly just submit ourselves to Jesus and remind ourselves mm -hmm. that, you know what? Uh, if I fail, mm -hmm. that's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We're still loved. We're still loved. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the worst thing that could possibly happen um, is not that bad in light of the fact that we are loved, mm -hmm. that we are saved, that mm -hmm. um, uh, in the scope of eternity, we're going to be with Jesus. And so that's where we need to find our identity mm -hmm. is in Him. We need to find our worth in Him knowing that we're loved and not in... All these temporary Exactly. Temporary things. They're very temporary. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Um, a question that came in was around the pressure to be a perfect parent. Mm. Um, it feels like a child's development, their future, their character is all dependent on this intentional parenting and Christ-like love. And we often fail as parents. I know mm. I do. Um, and applying what you said today to parenting can be a struggle. What what would you say about that? Yeah, uh, so I've been a parent for all of three months mm -hmm. and I can already feel that. 
there's I'm constantly looking things up on Google of you know if I let my child do this for too long, is that going to affect them whenever they're teenagers? You know, whatever it is, and and I worry about it. Mm -hmm. I get anxiety over it, fearing that what I'm doing now is going to mess up my daughter for the rest of her life. And I would imagine that that feeling can only grow if we let it go unchecked. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think the first thing we need to realize is that. Um, it's not all up to you. Uh, the future of your child um, and how successful or, or whatever your child is going to be in the future is not entirely up to you. I've known um, parents who are great, the most loving, caring parents who are very attentive um, to their child um, and uh, for whatever reason their child rebelled and um, and they just had a hard time raising their kid and I've known the opposite as mm -hmm. well of uh, of people who have grown up to be fantastic <laughs> human like beings, adults, parents who, yeah, their parents are gone. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, you need to take a bit of pressure off yourself knowing that it's not completely up to you. Uh, and then I would say um, as well, it's another one of those things that you're, it's going to be a constant thing you have to submit to Jesus. Kind of like when I mentioned my sermon, my desire to become Ben Stewart, mm -hmm. it's not a one time I repent of that idol and then move on with my life. It's mm -hmm. every single day. I have to come before Jesus and say, this is what I want. Um, and I idolize it and I covet it and I want this level of success and excellence, take it away from me. Mm -hmm. um, and I think with parenting, um, you have to kind of do the same thing of go before mm -hmm. Jesus and, and say, I'm terrified. Uh, I want this and this and this for my child. And if it doesn't happen, I'm afraid I'm a failure as a parent. Take away that feeling from me so I can love and raise my mm -hmm. kid, not out of fear, uh, and not being controlled by other people's ideas of excellence, but I can raise my child in you mm -hmm. and who Jesus is. And I think that's something we have to do. Yeah, I think um, in both things that you've been talking about, I just keep thinking about how important the, my community is yes, to me. Yes, absolutely. And um, other parents and <laughs> being yeah. able to see like none of us, we're all broken sinners <laughs> raising children that's and right. none of us will get it all Right. right, but our God is big and He redeems things and we yeah. can trust Him with our children. And it's always just uh, so encouraging when I'm able to like share and talk with other people about what yeah. I'm struggling with in my parenting and have them speak into it. And that's likewise, right. be able to do that for them. Right. Um, and so I know that's a, like an important part of parenting, I think, is to not do it alone and fall that's into right. this pressure that you put on yourself. Yeah, that's a great point. Of, yeah. yeah, you need to have other people who can speak wisdom into you, who can encourage you, um, and who can help you whenever you're mm -hmm. feeling like, oh, I can't do it, I'm overwhelmed. Yeah. Um, because you, I mean, it is, it takes a village, right? It that's does. what they say. Yeah. It does. Well, what a great message today, Adam. Thank, Thank you. you for that. And um, I know our graduating seniors, seniors were much blessed by it as we all were and thank you for joining us here for postscript we'll see you back here next week thanks for joining us for postscript help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services learn more at faithbridge.org postscript <laughs>